this is a laughable job. It is going to be one laughable job. We're in Colleyville, Texas, home of the Panthers. Colleyville Panthers, home of the Colleyville Panthers. I gotta show you what we're picking up, okay? You wanna know how fast, hold on, we're gonna show you how fast we can make $215. So honestly, I negotiated with the owner for 250 for the... <laughs> ah. Yeah, if you break it, we're gonna have to pay more. So here's what's going on. I quoted this guy. This guy sent me an email. He sent me an email for this stuff and I quoted him 250 without looking at it, not knowing that it's a lot less than that. So we negotiated. I like his style. I actually, honestly, I like his style. He said 250, he said 200. And I said, no, let's just meet halfway 225. And then he came down to 215 and I said, screw it. I like the negotiation that he was doing. So I agreed for $215, not knowing that it was not even that much. It's about a, what? How much do you think this is? Should be. Should be like 100. <laughs> Keep your voice down. He might be hearing us. It is actually, yeah. So he's definitely gonna watch this video, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna do this job for $215 and we're gonna knock it out right now, okay? Uh, here we go. I am not going to do a time lapse or anything. We're just gonna load this as is really fast. So there's no need, to, well, let's go. There's no need to do a time lapse because we're gonna just knock it out. And you're gonna see a perfect view of us loading every piece on, oh, there it is. You're gonna see a perfect view of us loading every piece into this truck. And, and just, just watch how fast we can do this and make that money. So here goes the timer right now. Safety, you know what I mean? Sure. All right, we're done. We're done, boss. All right, this is what happens. We loaded it from the floor. It was right here. Now it's on my truck, and that's how you do it, guys. You, t you know, this is the ability of using your truck to make some extra money when someone needs their fence removed. There it is. So don't think that you can't use your truck and honestly make. What did you say? You talk so much smack and you can honestly make money just using the back end of your truck. So we dropped off our trailer earlier today back at the headquarters in Dallas and then drove to Colleyville to knock this out. <sighs> I can't believe I actually pay him to work with me. I appreciate it. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Customer you know what? Appreciates it. Customer appreciates it. And while the customer is here, my customer, this is what I love about my customers. This guy negotiated with me over text or was it email? <laughs> And I love people that negotiate with me. I love it because most of the people, I'm going to tell you this, sir. A lot of people don't know this, but a lot of my customers don't negotiate. They just take the price. And when you came back and I said 250 and you said 200, I was like, oh, game on. And I got all excited. You should have seen me. I was like, oh, this guy wants to negotiate. And it was great for me. And then it went silent. After he said 200, I went silent because I had to do another job. And then I said, you know what? Let's meet halfway and do 225. And I said to myself, that seems like a good price. But this negotiator, he says, 215. And I said, I will do it. And just out of the respect that he asked for a lower price, I gave him to him. But guys, look at this. Y'all know I got a good price on this. This is this is well a good price for 215, the back of a pickup truck, and it works. Now, don't forget, yeah, yeah. And don't forget the back of a pickup truck. An honest F-150 wouldn't have take this trash. It would overflow just by a little, but my truck holds more than F-150. So don't forget, F-150 only holds four yards. My truck holds six yards. So there you go. All right, guys. I hope you all learned something from this video. Don't forget, if you like these videos, subscribe to the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. And that's how to make $215 in less than 10 minutes. Bye-bye, guys. All right, that was pretty cool to have the actual uh, customer 
all the way straight. Okay. Uh, to actually have the customer on the video with customer. me. So, what did I say? Customer. <laughs> you sold right. your heart, idiot. Did I? <laughs> okay, so it was cool. He came on the video. He didn't care. Put, put on your stable for a sec. He didn't care about being on the video. He was like, heck yeah, I'll be on the video. So, uh, that's what I'm talking about negotiating with the customer. Okay, guys, you saw how much stuff I picked up. It was definitely, definitely not $215 worth of track. It was more than, it was about $150. Now, I'll, let me tell you something. Cade, who always shoots high. I mean, Cade is one of the people that shoots high. He always estimates everything really high, don't you, Cade? Yeah, that's all pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at that trash and I was like, this is easily 150 bucks. Kate said it was $100 worth of trash. We charged him 215 for that job. And I'm gonna tell you why I shot for 215. And this, this is, you're gonna go, oh, no wonder he does that. Well, here's the main reason as I try to mess with my camera here. Uh, the main reason I always shoot higher on my estimates is because if I get there, I don't wanna lose. So I'm trying to get as close as I can to the price of the estimate without losing out. So I always, if I if it's $150 worth of stuff, I always say 200 or less, because it might be less. But I never say $200 firm. I always say $200 or less. So with the negotiation on this guy was a different thing. Here's what happened. He sent me a picture of the stuff. I couldn't really tell if it was six foot long or eight foot long. I didn't know the dimension of it, dimensions of it, but I did notice that it was stacked up in the picture a little lower than his fence. And now fences, we all know, are, are seven or eight foot high. So I figured, oh, it's about stacked six foot high. That's when I took it in consideration and I said to myself, okay, this is six foot high and it's gotta be at least six foot wide or eight foot wide. So it'll fit in the back of my pickup truck. And that's why I only took my pickup truck because we could have put them on there tall and then just tied it down we could have done it that way but here, here's the thing what i do when i looked at it i knew that it was at least six foot tall and it would fit in the back of this pickup truck and that's why i brought it now when i saw the picture i text the guy and i said two hundred dollars no, no i said 250 i'm sorry i texted him 250 he came back with 200 and i said you know what i'm not gonna do it but I do respect the fact that he was negotiating with me at the time. I was like, you know what? It's been a long time since I got a negotiation with anybody. Usually they just take the price and run with you. If you're in junk removal and you run a junk removal business, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? So this guy came back at 220, two, uh, 200 and I was like, no, that's too low. I'll just ignore him. But I really didn't ignore him. What happened is I got busy. I ended up doing another job. And then I looked back at him and I said, you know what? Let me come back at him. Let's meet halfway. 225 is in the middle of 250 the price i want and he wants 200 so i just said 225 and i even text him 225 let's meet halfway send me your name your address and your phone number and this is what he said he waited he waited and 15 minutes later he hit me up and he says this, this is what he says 215 the deal's done here's my address and i said let's go guys i'm not gonna fight the guy for ten dollars now if it's a hundred dollars or you know a little bit more than that i'll fight you but for 10 bucks now nah. but i wanted him to win and i kind of respected the fact i kind of respected the fact that that he's your daddy oh i'm sorry <laughs> i kind of respected the fact that he wanted to negotiate because we haven't had a lot of people now you saw him in the video if you saw him in the video i even told him to his face a lot of people don't negotiate so i respect the fact uh this is what he told me behind the scenes he said that he went to mexico recently and if you're not a good negotiator in mexico don't even go because everyone wants a deal and that was pretty funny that he said that so with that uh, i'll leave you off the, for with the video the end of this video but just don't forget always negotiate with your customer if you need to don't walk away from some of the jobs and if they don't want to just kind of work with the customer kind of work with the customer but look what we did in less than 10 minutes I did 215 bucks and I'm gone there it is all right guys I'll talk to y'all later bye-bye